Okay, so hello everyone. My name is Shambhavi. Hope you all are doing well. So, um, yes, this is how the suspective tableau um, actually looks like. Um, now, what you could do is that you can go upon here, choose a pen respective file for you, and you can simply uh, like put up the data for that. If I go on this Microsoft Excel at this particular place, so now it has redirected me uh, to my desktop. Now from here, I could just receive out um, any of the files for me. So let's say I'm having this data sets folder and from this I could just go on, let's say it's um, it's uh, internet very windy, let's say. Okay, and I'm gonna click on open. So what it's gonna do at this particular place that this file will be opened up for me onto this respective tab view only. Okay, it would take up some time. Uh, for the opening of that, see it's like the query is being executed and that respective file is being uploaded. And yeah, here you are having your uploaded file. Great. So yes, this is how my file actually looks like. Um, that's a very short data right for right away. It's a very short data. It's having only 10 uh, rows for you because that's a sort of example only that how to do up the things. Right. So further, when we'll, we'll be implementing up the things under, under the detail. Um, and then I'll be letting you know the, the detail for uh, simply doing up all of these respective things. Right, so here's the apps I am having. This is my total number, so that's my serial number, right? These are the three columns which I'm having up into my respective um, file, respective sheet, right? Now, um, if you want to select up some more sheets, so yeah, you could do a selecting up, you could just go and click on the add and from here you could click upon Microsoft Excel and let's say I want to do it for the usage of Facebook or let's say it's 10 most visited countries and I'm going to click on that. So what it would do is that for me, it would as well add up this particular file for me, okay? So this 10 most visited countries will as well be done up here and I will be able to uh, open up that particular file, get over that particular file, that's what's actually there. If I go onto the sheet one right away, see it starts my sheet one, right? So this is first of all uh, a method that um, how you actually upload up the data onto the tablet. The, that's the respective manner uh, which you prefer out here. Okay, so hope I'm first of all pretty much clear. Next, what are we having? Next, I'm having a peer. If I click on this next option, so what would be done up here is that a new worksheet is open up for me. Now that's a worksheet sort of thing. Worksheet is a sort of um, a thing under which you make up your respective plots based upon your um, respective data and the columns that you want to choose, the rules which you want to take. Based upon that, you make up this particular um, plot. So, um, According to that, this is how this particular uh, sheet for me looks like. This is my sheet too. Further, you're having some more sheets. And after that, you can actually make up a new dashboard. Also. Dashboard is a sort of thing in which min multiple plots come up. And um, onto those multiple plots, you are actually able to make up a, a lot and sort of um, a lot of uh, graphs into that trace, right? So that's a dashboard, which is, uh, yeah, here you could just go and open that out. So this is how dashboard looks. Okay. In the dashboard, what do you do? Uh, in the dashboard, you drag and drop out the sheets. The sheets, sheets are these things which you are making, right? So the, in the dashboard, you do not make up the individual things. You drag and drop out the sheets here onto the dashboards and accordingly, uh, you are having options here like you want to horizontal, you want vertical, or you want to add up any text, you want to add up an image, you want to add up any extension or navigation, what you want to add, all of those objects you are having, whatever you could. And for you are having it for the floating as well, tiled and floating, right? So um, those are the respective objects if you want, you could add them as well into this um, particular data. Right, now for the, let me get back to the sheet 2 right here, this was the one. Now here you're having some marks, those are respective your color, color like like whatever the bar graph or uh, whatever the scatter plot, or whatever plot has been plotted. So what's the color that you wanted uh, to be of the plot and that, that's the idea here. Same regards goes here for the size, like what's the size for the, uh, for the plots which you want out, so that goes for the size. 
next goes for the text start for the text what is the respective text which you want to put out then goes your detail and that further it goes your tooltip okay so these are the few of the things which you are having it out here uh, this is the data further you are having one more option for the analytics but right away you hadn't put out any respective rows or columns here that's the reason it's not at all showing you the analytics okay so that's pretty much done further you are having some options here like if you want to open up any file uh, from uh, from a desktop you're having a tablet file there and you want to open that out there you could do that out from there okay now this is the public version for the tablet the tablet public version which i am using it out right away because yeah that's that's the public version right so yeah i hope that's um pretty much fine here with you regarding that um about the tableau that what uh, like what are the things that we have it out here further if you want to put up a new data you can't do that here goes your new worksheet and further you're having many options here so you could explore that as those as well next options for the dashboard so that's a dashboard here which you're having it out and then goes your analysis for analysis you're having too many options like like if you want to percentage of any respective column you want the total of any column you want to plot the mean or the median any any values like that of a column so into that particular case this analysis is the one which is used out okay further you are having if you want to put up the uh, maps so yeah you could do that if you want to format out based upon the font alignment reading borders lines rest everything you want to do so yes you can do up all of those respective things right so hope i'm pretty much clear with this particular thing to you regarding that how um is this particular tableau looks like how so how's the book of the tableau look like hope i am pretty much clear with all of these respective things to you right so great further here on to the very left hand side you can actually check out all the columns which you are having up into your table into your sorry into your data on the table into your data whatever the columns you're having you can have a look over all of those columns on onto this left hand side right so hope i am pretty much clear with all these things to you that um uh what is the tableau about and how is the workbook of the tableau looks like how you can make sheets how you can make dashboards what are the functionalities how to use all those everything hope i'm pretty much clear so from the next video we'll be starting implementing out the practical uh with respect to some data and we'll be trying making up some cool uh, sheets some wonderful dashboards right so this is all for this video till then thank you and take care